It's your boy Carcino here. Um, told y'all I was going out. But as I was looking at the comments, somebody had to mention Floyd Mayweather spent $5 million on a car. He's blowing his money. He's so stupid. Blah, 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 blah. Floyd Mayweather has earned the right to spend his money how he wants. If he want to spend $300 million on something, that's his problem. Look, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't do this to Tiger Woods. Y'all don't do this to no other celebrities. They spend money too. But it's like if a black person spend the money, it's, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you spent $5 million on a car. Man, see, this is what only black people do. It's white people who spend this kind of money too. They spend $10 million on paintings. $30 million on paintings. Nobody go, God damn! That's a $30 million painting you did, white boy. What you doing? No, nobody was saying that when a white guy spent that kind of money. But when a brother spent it, we don't know what we doing. We stupid. Because it's a countdown when you go broke. When you're black. That's, people don't look at it as if, man. He's going to make more money or he might make that back. He probably had that money put to the side for the car. That might have came off some interest stuff. He's still making money on. We don't know. To us, that's a lot of money. Okay, there we go. Get a little light in there. You can see my face. But for us, that's a lot of money. $5 million could do a lot for a lot of people. But it's not his job to feed the whole black nation of the world not his job so for everybody to be all up in arms because Floyd Mayweather didn't spend five million dollars on the car he earned the right to spend that kind of money on the car he earned the money he took the punches he got in the ring he went to training camp he sacrificed the time away from his family he earned it he shouldn't have to explain anything to anybody about what he bought Go ask them billionaires about them paintings and them other millionaires spending all that money. Oh, that stuff appreciates in value. How you know that car don't appreciate in value? Five million dollars on the car, I'm, I'm guarantee you that the trade-in value for that is gonna be very high. <laughs> so, I just don't get it sometimes, man. People just, you know, they just love to be negative towards Floyd Mayweather. I guess that's the thing, you know. It's like, if it's Floyd, yeah, let's get it. Let's get that negativity rolling. But I guess it is what it is. But I just seem to notice that whenever it's a black athlete, period, not just Floyd, he spends some money, everybody go crazy. Like, in a negative storm. Like, my God, he's so dumb. Why did he buy a house? Just get you a condo. You won't blow your money. Because we always look at it as if black people can't keep money. We have that negative stimulus, <laughs> stimulus against ourselves. Oh, shoot, my back itching. Sorry about that, y'all. My back is itching real bad. Might be this beat it shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> but, uh, but we have that built against us. And it's a, a negative stimulus against us period that this is it we gonna go broke if we ever get money we spend money like it got an expiration date it's going right out as soon as it come in our pocket we got to get rid of it it's gonna expire now true by nature we have a trend of spending money crazy because we have not been taught a system of how to save money it hasn't been taught to us. We had to learn everything on the fly. Majority of us come from parents who were not successful in business. Most of them, they worked at, they had a career at a job. They never owned or know, knew how the business ran or how to save your money. They lived check by check because of the way society was. You know, they had to take the best job they could get. And they put you through college so you can get a great education, so you can 
be a trendsetter for your children and the next generation to come along so you can get the education and the knowledge of how to run a business and how to save money and invest and basically um, a lot of us haven't utilized or made aware of the sacrifice a lot of parents and family members made so that they could get to that next level they didn't see the big picture they just see I gotta get some Jordans, I gotta get some rims, I gotta get some cars, I gotta get some houses, and they don't have a plan. They don't realize how important having good credit is and how it helps you establish wealth. See, I drive with the force, but... <laughs> But when you uh, establish good wealth and good financial uh, responsibilities about yourself, you can able to get things without spending money. You see, you know, when black people want to buy things, we got to put down a lot of money because our credit isn't good enough. So you basically have to pay for it outright in order for you to get it. But when you have a good credit and you pay things off on time and you build up these habits of paying the things off, your credit over exceeds you. So they give you stuff for free when you can make minimum payments to keep them. So then when you get your money right or whatever, you can just pay the thing off or trade it in and get something better. That way it's not stressing you out financially. Then you got to learn how to cut out assets and liabilities on each side whatever's a liability you try to hopefully it's a liability you could live with if it's something that you can't then you have a problem but if it's something that's uh, an asset that you can get you try to put as many assets on one side of the board as you can because it's only going to help you out in the long run but the problem is we have not been taught and it's not like people are not teaching out there there's all this stuff on the internet to teach people about financial responsibility, but if it hasn't been instilled in us because the majority of us come from a poor family income, come from the ghetto, haven't been taught, don't want to learn. It's a very small percentage that survived that and still want and have the ambition to want to be successful and take the right steps to get there. That has been our main problem. You know, I have rich friends, I have poor friends. It's just the nature of how the, the world is, but the difference is not luck between the two. I've had rich friends who was born rich. Their families before them were rich. They made sure that he had a good education before they, about finance and responsibilities before they turned things over to him. I got friends that are white that make six figure income but they're broke every year because they haven't been taught financially you know the rules of how to save and be responsible they always want to think someone's going to bail them out and by him having family members that have access to lots of money to just say here this is this for you I'm not bailing you out again you know we don't have that. A lot of us don't have that who can drop down 20000 and get you out of a jam. We don't really have that. So we got to be smarter about it. Well, we going to file chapter something. <laughs> we just don't care about credit. Black people have never understood how to use it for their advantage. So when you tell me Floyd spent $5 million on the car, I say good for him. Because believe me, if he spent $5 million on the car, I'm quite sure he's got some investors around him to tell him what to do. But damn it, he earned it. Let him spend his money any old kind of way. Because they, they don't watch every dime another millionaire makes. Another athlete who spends large amounts of money. He don't even go report it. But when a black person does it, boom, there it is. Well, he put it out there himself. But y'all want to blast him for it, so... There you go. Say all the negative stuff you want about Floyd. 
and spending five million dollars on a car i mean hey it's his thing i'm quite sure he has a business plan with a don't hurt him so that's just that um and other than that uh somebody was like um the beef the beef uh not the beef but the beats that i did the top five beats Somebody wanted me to go down the list and do my last five, like six through ten. If I did six through ten, number six would be Approach to Danger by NWA. Uh, number seven would probably be Beats to the Rhyme by um, Beats to the Rhyme by Ron DMC. Then. Uh, Little Kim's Notorious B.I.G. Notorious, uh, no, Queen Bitch. That song, that beat. Boom, no, 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 no. That would be, uh, probably number eight. Number nine would probably be Peter Piper by Run DMC. Uh, number ten. Wow, that's tough. Tough. Um, man, uh, off the top of my head, I would probably have to go with with the uh, the Nas beat for uh, the world is yours. Yeah, yeah, probably the world is yours. I mean, it all of it, all of this is just off the top of my head. But anyway, follow the playlist too. The truth behind the hip hop beefs, the top five in hip hop that we doing. We doing all of those uh, videos there, and we got more videos coming. Uh, we do have an update from Berto's camp. Somebody was like, when I put that out there, we had no update. People started hitting me up like, dude. I got you an update. I'm going to send you photos. So, my guy sending me photos. So, y'all will get that soon, too. All right, I'm out.